Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com, and today we're going to be doing the design challenge number 15 for animated loading gifts. And just to preface this before we get started real quick, I know some of you are waiting on reviews for the designcourse.com mentor program, which I'm going to be getting to tonight. All right, so with that said, I, two weeks ago I posted this uh, challenge here, and that's to design an animated lo loading GIF. So there wasn't really many requirements, aside from the document size being 500 by 500. Make sure there's a lot of white space and padding outside of the actual design. And the animation should not take any more than three to four seconds to complete the loop. All right, so uh, here is just some in inspiration that I put there. All right, so the first one was from Mitch here, and... I went for a fruity mix kind of thing, and looking at this, I actually liked it a lot. I, uh, it's very smooth. It falls within the requirements of being uh, from three to four seconds. So this would be, you know, a sort of a loading animation that would be appropriate for some sort of food site or or a company that has some sort of branding that's along the lines of this. So I really like it. Uh, the animation is smooth and uh, real relevant and consistent with you know the, the different types of food it's trying to show. So very good. Uh, coming down here, we have Liam. So this one is pretty simple, although there's not you know too much that I could say because of its simplicity. Uh, but if I really wanted to get in there and, and uh, get real close to this and try to critique it, I would say it looks like a, there's a little bit more space on the left than it is on the top. So it kind of throws off the design just a tad bit. Uh, but other than that, it's not bad, but again, it is simple, so there's not too much I can critique about it. I know I said I wanted simple, uh, so this isn't necessarily bad because uh, it, it does fall within the requirements. All right, so leap we have here. Uh, all right, so looking at this, I already read this over. You guys can read you know, th this if you wish. I'm not going to sit here and bore you by reading it. Uh, but looking at this, I'm going to let it go through a couple times just to look at it. Uh, because it is definitely, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's about seven seconds long, which is almost twice as what we wanted the requirements to be. Um, but nonetheless, ignoring that, uh, looking at the design and the animation, I, so real, realty auction, that's why there's a, uh, a gavel, I guess what you, that's what that's called in that house. I, and looking at this, the one thing I that kind of stuck out at me immediately was the uh, the gray on the blue background. You know, you have the the white house here and with the negative space, uh, the the gavel thing, but then we have gray dots here. So I think it would be best if that was kept white. That way, everything's consistent. You know, and it's kept more simplistic in terms of color. I uh, I'm also not sure about having them float off outside of the circular container over here. Uh, if they were up and around, maybe that might make a little bit more sense. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, you know, this part's cool right here uh, to just you know to signify that that it, there's an end, I guess, to the waiting period. Um, of course, that wouldn't work if it, this was a gift that was shown on something that's downloading and you don't know what exactly how or how how exact long it's going to take based on the person's connection. Uh, having that checkbox at the end. But if it's a certain um, instance in which you know you know how long it's going to take, then it would work fine. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. That was just one on white. So this is this person's first GIF ever, or animated GIF at least. And yeah, I wish it was a little bit smaller, just so I could see it at a smaller size. Let me see what it looks like uh, if I scale down the browser. So if this was sped up maybe a little bit more quicker and it was using the, the type of keyframes that were easy ease in and ease out, it, it I think would be even better. But the general concept behind it is is simple, and I do like it. So good job on that. All right. So this one, I just looking at this one, there there's one there's a couple issues at play here, and the one is I when it says loading song. You know, let me make sure my browser is at 100% view. There we go. We're at 100% right here. Uh, even at 100%, we could see that this side, uh, the the type here, loading song, and then the play, is so small that it looks pixelated. So when you make things this small, you got to make sure you have the right type of font and uh, the anti-aliasing anti-aliasing is correct. But right now, it kind of just looks way too small and a little bit just blurry in a sense. It's not on pixel grid correctly. Uh, so that's one thing you would want to make sure you have uh, remedied uh, for this image or for this GIF. 
Uh, and I would also say, looking at this, you know, it's okay. I uh, it seems a little bit generic, and uh, just with the uh, the bevels and and the inner shadows and stuff, I think it may be. It, there's a possibility it could be done a little bit better, um, but. Really, the one thing that's the issue is the type that's kind of screwing it all up. Uh, the other issue, again, when when loading song is done, uh, I would say this bar could probably go away too because it's just a blank bar sitting there and there's nothing really happening. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the submission anyhow. And then here's another one. I think this is a long one again too. It's very interesting though. So this probably takes a good seven seconds or so. I uh, a lot of creativity though in the animation. This is cool, and I like how it kind of transfers. There's a smooth transition between, you know, the um, the circles here that scale in and then go out. So aside from the length, uh, there's probably not too much else that I would have to critique. You could tell that the 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 green checkbox is a little bit um, pixelated, which I think he mentioned there. Um, but other than that, yeah, the the animation's cool. So you don't have any problem with the animation. It's just the uh, the length here. I saw this one too previously. Okay. All right. And then this one, looking at this, I'm just going to let it go through a couple times. So the length is fine. Uh, but I'm not too sure there's, I think there's a little bit too much happening simultaneously between the flares and the diamond and also this outer portion. Um, I would stick with one or the other, uh, not both at the same time. Just because a little bit too much is happening, you know, this is changing and then it changes colors real abruptly and then it changes back to white and fades in and out and we have all these things different directions. So again, just a little bit too much going on to keep it a little bit more simplistic uh, and I think it would be just a bit more effective. Other than that, the design itself uh, and the shapes are pretty good. So thanks for that entry. And let's see here, Galaxy 85. So I'm not exactly sure what is happening here. So we have these stacks of uh, lines. I'm not sure if it's meant to represent binary coding or something, just because I see that this thing that's dropping out of the bottom here is a bunch of zeros, it looks like, or something like that. Either way, though, it becomes difficult because we don't really know what's, or see what's coming out of here, and it's happening a little bit too quickly. So I would stick with just this top portion and animating that as opposed to also having something else come down here, which is a little bit difficult to see. It almost looks pixelated and distorted to the text and blurred out. Thanks for the submission, though. And let's see, Mugu, I guess you would pronounce that. I, I have some problems at animating this. Here's the design for what I'm aiming for. Well, I mean, within Photoshop alone, you're probably not going to be able to animate this fluid as you wish. This pretty much requires a 3D application to be able to animate the idea of liquid fluid running through a tube. So th that's impossible. Uh, now if you want to take this general shape and then animate it based on uh, a clipping mask that's behind it, that's perfectly fine. Of course it's not going to look like perfect fluid though. So, uh, And then Marie, this is the last one we have. Uh, you know, this is very simple. The colors, they complement each other well. Um, the loading animation Ooh, there's one thing that kind of bothers me. I was just looking at this. We have this and this. These are lined up pretty well vertically, it looks like, and horizontally, I mean. Uh, and then this one's kind of just down a little bit, but that's no big deal. Uh, but yeah, in terms of this loading, uh, it would almost make sense if this this mark right here, these three dots, or were a part of the brand or some t or part of the visual identity of this business in some way, shape, or form. Otherwise, they're just kind of random. Uh, but then again, this is for a fictional project, uh, so you got the length, the time right, and you got the simplicity right, so in that regard, it's good. All right, so uh, thanks for the submissions. I look out for the design challenge number 16 coming up. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to be announcing that, but hopefully pretty soon. And I'm getting ready for the next, uh, for kind of gearing up for... 2015 to try to get out uh, and start doing a lot more tutorials because I, I think I burnt myself out at the beginning of this year when I did a video tutorial every every, every day, I think all the way up to like five months practically. I, I kind of burnt myself out there. Plus, I've al also been really busy with other commitments in terms of uh, um, instructing opportunities for other big sites, learning sites. So uh, I'm going to try to get the priorities in check and I uh, come out with kind of like an itinerary in terms of what I want to cover for designcourse.com and the YouTube channel here in 2015. So 
Look out for that. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Check out designcourse.com. Subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.